Virgin Gulbegyan Maternity Hospital building, located in the Norgyuk neighborhood of Aleppo, Syria, is in danger. It was hit and damaged by mortar rounds incoming from rebel-held areas. Recently, it was the third such attack in as many years. The hospital building was originally built and established by the Gulbenkian family in 1935. It was named in memory of Virgin Gulbenkian, the spouse of Patrick Gulbenkian and the mother of Nurses Gulbenkian. After his father, Patrick Gulbenkian, passed away, Nurses Gulbenkian continued this important mission. With over 80 years of service dedicated to the Armenian nation, the Virgin Gulbenkian Maternity Hospital has been a blessing to Syrian Armenians, and in particular to Aleppo Armenians. This was especially true for the scattered remnants of the Armenian deportees, who after experiencing the bitter fate of the genocide, were able to form new families on the hospitable soil of a Syrian homeland. The maternity hospital became a place for childbearing, which served all without discrimination, without attention to religious denomination or politics. Many famous people were born there. As we already mentioned, it was recently hit and damaged by mortar rounds incoming from Islamists of Al-Nusra Front of ISIS. The recent attacks resulted in the untimely death of Maral Hivlekian in her early 30s, a staff member caring for the elderly being sheltered at the hospital, and injuries to other people. Other buildings and residential facilities were also damaged. Virgin Gulbenkian Maternity Hospital is managed and owned by the Gulabi Gulbenkian Foundation of New York. We had opportunity to discuss the situation about the hospital with the president of Gulabi Gulbenkian Foundation, Mr. Ed Gulbenkian. I'm here with Edward Gulbenkian Jr., um, who is the president of the Gulabi Gulbenkian Foundation. Welcome to the show, Mr. Gulbenkian. Um, I'd like for you to voice to our viewers the recent conditions in Aleppo, Syria, um, with the terrorism and bombs and refugee crisis and everything. I know you guys have your um, hospital there, the Gubenkian Hospital. Do tell our, uh, what situation is it there right now? How is it like? The situation in Aleppo is a lot worse than we read in the newspapers and see on TV. It's atrocious. And what we wanted to do is to give some hope and there's very little hope in Aleppo. Uh, everybody that can get out is getting out. Uh, our hospital was built in 1935, the Virgin Gobankian Maternity Hospital. Virgin Gobankian died in childbirth, and her husband wanted to have this situation never happen again. And many, many prominent Armenians have been born in the hospital. Uh, the first president of Armenia, I have been approached all over the world uh, from people telling me I've been born in your hospital. But more than just a hospital, we were a service to the Armenian community. Now, there is little hope in Aleppo. And a lot of the young mothers cannot get adequate medical care. So we decided we wanted to reopen the hospital. And what had happened during the war, the hospital was closed. Uh, we hired a guards to monitor the protection of the hospital. Um, a group uh, came in broke the locks and illegally entered and moved the old people's home to the hospital. We have had no communication with the group, no thank you, no anything for four long years. All our attempts at communication were ignored. 
Uh, we then went to court to try to get some response from the perpetrators. Um, and we were on the docket and the case has been postponed uh, for about eight months and it continually gets kicked down the road. We had a number of Armenian doctors call us begging us to reopen the hospital. They needed jobs. They had no work. What we want to do is we want to open, reopen the hospital on the first floor. The old people's home are occupying the three other floors of the hospital. That is all right. But what we want to do is get a hospital up and running on the first floor. And we can't do this because we get no response whatsoever from the people that are there running the old people's home. Uh, we want everybody to realize this is not an old people's home. It's the Virgin Gulbenkian Maternity Hospital, and that's what we want to continue with. That's a brief history of what has been going on. We don't want to throw the old people out, but we want to be able to offer them better medical care by having a hospital on premise. Makes sense. Currently, the hospital has been bombed three times, and we wish to get everybody out of the hospital and repair it. Uh, our people there, our manager, uh, hired an architect to come in. The hospital is unsafe. We don't want him, anybody moving in until we can make repairs. Already, there's blood on my hands and on the hands of the people that move the old people in because people have died in the hospital due to unsafe conditions with the bombing. So it is our goal and our hope to restore the Virgin Gulbenkian Maternity Hospital. Mr. Gulbenkian, the hospital itself initially started as a maternity, maternity hospital, um, and I do understand with your graciousness you've kind of allowed um, the elderly to occupy the hospital in the time being. How long has this been happening? Uh, over four years. Over four years. With no communication from the people that were in the hospital. Are you involved in running it currently with uh, the elderly there? We are being ignored on every suggestion we make. Okay. Being that there is no communication with authorities there, with officials there, what obstacles, obviously aside from communication, are you facing? Uh, we're not even allowed to get into our building, the Virgin Gulbenkian Maternity Hospital. Because of the situation of the country, the group is taking advantage of us and the kindness of the hospital. With the war and the current situation in Aleppo, obviously there are millions of people that need help, that need, um, that need a hospital to go to. Um, are you going to be able to open? Are you going to be able to make these changes or renovations that you ultimately love to do? When the situation is safe, we're going to upgrade the hospital. But the most important thing is safety. It's got to be safe. And when we can't get into the building to make it safe, I don't know what's going to happen. How do you envision the hospital in a perfect world um, if you were to able to build and renovate the way you would love to do it on your own? We want to upgrade the hospital by having visiting doctors come in and lecture. We want to make space available as a community center to give prenatal uh, lectures to young mothers. We want to try to uh, get more advanced medical techniques brought into the hospital 
for the Aleppo community. Such prominent Armenians were born at the um, Gulbenkian Hospital, and I guess my only prayer and my only wish is for women of our generation and future generations to be able to continue the legacy of the hospital and be able to be provided with the best prenatal care um, and be able to continue to have their babies at the hospital. I guess that's our prayer and our hope for the future. Thank you very much. Thank you.